I don't want you to get stuck like in traffic while trying to take me up to the station. Like I can walk. And he was really, really stubborn and adamant on taking me there. So I wanted to film this while it's still raw. Um, I started my morning thinking, yay, I have a car. <laughs> it's raining outside. It's super cold today. And how great is it to have a car that I don't have to be outside and wait for buses and just schlep myself around the city to get home. I get into my car and my steering wheel is locked. I look it up online. How do I fix this? Couldn't fix it. And then I was contemplating. I'm like, oh no, I'm going to be late. Do I go and wake up my very sick dad? And when I mean sick, I mean with cancer. And when I mean cancer, I mean colon cancer, and I probably weigh more than him. I was really contemplating what I should do because I didn't want to wake him up, and yet I didn't know where to turn. And so I thought, okay, it's an easy fix. It's the steering wheel. He can see it within a second and fix it, and it'll be fine. And he came, and apparently it wasn't the steering wheel. It was the battery. The battery had died and he's trying to fix it for me and he's getting his jeep i thought it was going to be a quick fix and i didn't want him to make that much effort and because he's really he's weak doesn't have a lot of strength he goes up the stairs and he's already huffing and puffing and and he's really trying to help me and i'm like about only if it's a really quick fix that doesn't require strength of you he said yes it is it's okay it's fine and in the process of that something happened and he got a really, really bad like cramp spasm in his back and he was like doubled over in pain and like, and yelled out in pain and I freaked out so bad. And I'm like, enough, like, I don't care about the battery. I don't care about the car, like go back home, go inside. And he's like, no, yeah, it's fine. Let me do, let me do, let me do this. And I was really stubborn and I'm like, no, you're not doing anything. I'm parking your car and I'm like, go back home. I was really freaked out about it and felt really, really guilty that I had brought him out from his bed to help me with something and I just realized that the months and years now of my dad being sick really 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 takes a toll of course on him but on everyone because you're seeing someone who you love so much suffer so much and it was almost like feeling like I had already lost a part of my dad because my dad has always been super energetic and youthful and young and always helps you and conquers the world and goes and helps other people and like he's he's amazing like anyone would wish to have a dad like mine and I started crying because he's insisting on at least bringing me up to the station so that I don't have to walk it <laughs> And I'm starting to cry and I'm like, Abba, no, just go downstairs. Like, I know that you're in pain. I don't want you to get stuck, like, in traffic while trying to take me up to the station. Like, I can walk. And he was really, really stubborn and adamant on taking me there. What kind of love does my, ha my dad have for me? Like, who loves like that? <laughs> that he's in pain and he's still trying to help me? It's just incredible, you know, like I'm in pain and and I don't love like that. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't love like that and my dad is such an amazing example of how to love when you're in pain. When he has every reason to say, God, like why won't you heal me? And yet I've never heard him even once say that God has abandoned him, that God doesn't love him, like never, not once. Not even a shadow of a doubt in his mind. On the way, I really had to choose. I had to choose what I was going to think and feel and be that day. I had to choose to say, God is good no matter what. God is good no matter what. And it's not God's fault that there's pain in the world and it's not God's fault that people experience hardship it's not his fault and you know I'm dreading things in my head and God literally told me like your dad isn't dreading it so why are you and it really gave me a different perspective like 
how am I going to live my life? Like, there's pain in all of life. Some experience more, some experience less, but what time am I wasting by by not surrendering the pain? What time am I wasting by not being grateful for what I have when I have it? So anyways, I got to work and throughout that whole time, before that, I had really invested in making sure that I was grateful for my life and for the things that are good in my life and and I did come to work better I did come to work with a different attitude because I could have let that just completely ruin my whole day thinking like oh I was selfish and I caused my dad pain and yet I still need my dad and so later on my dad texted me and this is how kind he is listen how kind my dad is Apparently the problem was I had opened the light inside the car during the day and didn't notice that I had left it on and apparently that just killed the battery. And he didn't even say you left the, the light open. He said Bracha left the light open. Bracha is what I've called my car. And so he said Bracha left it open. He didn't even say you left it open. And not only that, but I was like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you out of bed and cause you like pain by you stressing out and, and and he said, no, you did the right thing. Like you did the right thing by calling me. And I realized that that's how, how God is. God is like, I know you feel like you're inconveniencing me and I know you feel like you, you just want to do it on your own or call someone else for help instead of me, but you did the right thing. And it's such a great example. My dad is such a great example of of God to me because there's never been a time in life in which my dad didn't make himself available. I mean, even when he was like in the hospital, like really like sick, like about to die kind of sick, he still wanted to sit there in bed and listen to me and listen to my day and listen to my pains and my aches so that he could encourage me. I don't know who loves like this, but if you have someone who loves you like that in life, appreciate them. Because God is showing you love through them. And it really inspires me to love the same. It makes you feel foolish by how vindictive I can be or how vengeful or hateful. You know, it's hard to admit that you have all those things in your heart and yet it exists. and seeing my dad seeing my dad love like this it's it breaks your heart in the best way possible I just wanted to say I have the best dad in the whole wide world and if you have God so do you that's charging it charges the whole day isn't it all full now yeah, it's full now. Just disconnect it in the morning, you know, just pull it off. Mm -hmm. So leave it on overnight, it'll charge it Don't up 100%. I can't believe you continued yeah, to closed. do things for me, but I didn't even expect you. Kiro, I didn't even tell you to do anything for me. Do you want to use the car tonight? No. Okay, so just leave it here. I'm done and with in the morning, this day. take it off. I know it ain't easy, but there's something.